Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Well, the sun was hiding from us a little bit this morning, but now we're starting to see breaks in the clouds. Live in Lebanon right now, it's 62 degrees. Winds are out of the north at 10 miles per hour, and it has been breezy so far today. That breeze will last through the evening. This afternoon, I still won't rule out a stray shower, but we're almost done with that slim chance. Gradual clearing is the call, breezy and mild. High temperatures, 68 to 72 degrees. Tonight, mostly clear, also fairly mild. Temperatures will be above average for lows, 50 to 54 overnight. Tomorrow, we're looking for mostly sunny skies, warmest day of the week here. Check out these highs, 76 to 80. It will be quite pleasant with low humidity, and we should see some increasing clouds by evening ahead of a cold front. Right now, it's 55 degrees in Lewistown, 61 in Lancaster. Seeing some sun in Chambersburg, that has popped you to 64 degrees, and it's 59 in York. Current sustained wind speeds, we have some double digits here, so it will be a breezy, kind of brisk afternoon with winds up to 20 miles per hour sustained. Today's weather and health report, our pollen levels, oak trees, grass pollen, that's high. Air quality is moderate, and the UV index, it's moderate with a burn time of 35 minutes as these clouds peel back. Taking a live look at Super Doppler 8, I was tracking some isolated showers, very isolated, very light. So if one pops up, it'll likely fizzle in your area if you see anything over the next two hours. Bigger picture, what's causing all of these clouds? It's a big area of low pressure. Look at this spinning counterclockwise right off the coast of Delmarva. And as that lifts toward Cape Cod this evening, the clouds will be pooling away from us. The trend today, clearing skies. We're going to see a brighter second half of the day here tonight. Definitely clear, looking good overnight. So for the meteor shower, I'll tell you about that coming up. We have good viewing opportunities. Tomorrow, we start the day with sunshine. I think by late tomorrow evening, clouds will be increasing, and we could even see some showers after dark as a weak cold front drops in. That front clears our area Wednesday morning. Look at that, Wednesday afternoon, right back to sunshine, pleasant conditions. We have Big Blue H, high pressure on your TV screen. That's the good guy, always breaks some sunshine out for us. Lyrid Meteor, uh, Lyrid Meteor Shower, I should say, tonight. Uh, we are calling for pretty good viewing conditions here. However, the bright moon, it was full just a few days ago. That may hamper your viewing a little bit. You could see about 10 to 20 meteors per hour. Just look up, give your eyes about 20, 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. Here's the seven day forecast. We're talking about uh, really nice conditions here. Oh, we have a little impact day on there Monday. Don't pay attention to that. 70 degrees will be the high, 78 for tomorrow, 72 on Wednesday, and then temperatures around 70 at the end of the week with some showers by Friday. All right, warming up a little bit. Warming up, comfortable temperatures, you know, not high humidity, and we're not talking about any threats for severe this week, which is definitely welcome after last week. Absolutely, good for you, a little calmer. <laughs> Whew, a little calmer right. down. Thanks, yeah. Christine.